Qatar becomes the latest to impose restrictions on travelers from China. Doha condemns attacks in Kabul and Egypt. Good news for government employees as a part-time option is now activated. And finally, Oman's footballing legend Ahmed Kano has hung up his boots. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has become the latest country to impose restrictions on visitors coming from China. Travelers from the Asian country must take the test within 48 hours of their departure to Doha. This is regardless of their immunity status or vaccine record. The move follows in the footsteps of a number of mainly European nations that have cracked down on travelers from China, where an alarming wave of cases have been reported since scrapping the zero COVID approach. At least 10 people have been killed with a further eight seriously hurt in a bomb blast that shook Kabul's military airport. The explosion was reported just meters away from Kabul's International Civilian Airport. Over in Egypt, three police officers and a civilian were killed in an attack on a police checkpoint in Ismailia. The Islamic State militant group has claimed responsibility for that attack, though no group has claimed the assault in Afghanistan. Qatar has issued statements to strongly condemn and denounce both explosions, saying it categorically rejects violence. Now, Qataris working at government institutions can now opt for part-time hours. The law officially comes into effect today and allows for Qataris to request a slash in hours. Priority is given to women with children, though all Qataris with non-management positions can apply. The move is expected to help strengthen the family unit without affecting careers for parents. And finally, Oman's footballing great Ahmed Kano has announced his retirement from football after 20 years of service to his nation and a career spanning all over the GCC. Kano is ranked second in the all-time appearances for Oman with 180 caps and has played for clubs at home and abroad going from Oman Oman to the UAE to Saudi Arabia. In Qatar, the legendary striker played for Maidar, Misaymir, and Al Marhiya. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.